train is coming, yeah. The local train. Hello, good morning. I just arrived at Jubei, northern Shinju. Hello, I'm here at the new tile house Hakka Cultural District in Jubei, northern Shinju. This is a place you want to visit when you are interested in Hakka culture. Here are a few old buildings, a shrine and we can walk around and have a look. The new tile house Hakka Cultural District is neither new nor a single house, but rather a cluster of single story buildings made of bricks, some fired, some mud and tiles. Not much happens here on weekdays, but visit on a weekend and you might see cultural groups performing music or dance. There's a cafe and souvenir shop. The whole place is very photogenic. some interesting buildings but behind there are modern buildings so you want to avoid uh, shooting the buildings behind. I would like to stay a bit longer here at this new tile place but there are not many buses and I have to catch I want to catch the next bus to Shinsu station. Alright, made it to the Shinzu railway station which is behind me and now I'm going to rent a U-bike which is just over here. Nice murals. Here we are at the best known landmark of Shinzu, the, uh, the gate, Ingshi Gate, I think. And on the other side, you have a cute little or big dog. I think it's uh, the dog of the, uh, the year, the year of the dog dog. And there is another dog on the other side of the, uh, the gate. Can you see it? Let's go there. Right beside the um, Inchin Gate is this canal. Nice in the summer if you need some shade. Yuhu! Hello! Welcome to Shinzu! Here we have some installation art 
Oh, there's a lot of there are a lot of fish down there and pigeons. Next stop, here we have the Shinzu City Art Gallery and Reclamation Hall. Unfortunately, it's under construction. The museum has interesting exhibitions about the history of Shinzu and contemporary art. I return my bike and I want to visit two more places here. The one is the Fire Museum and the other the Shinzu City Hall. I'm now here at the Shinzu City Government Building behind me. This is not a museum, but a, a city hall where people work. But you can go inside and have a look at the building. It's an old building from the Japanese time. So this is also called the old Shinzu Prefectural Hall. Unlike similar official buildings in Tainan and Taichung, this continues to play a key role in local government and is where the city's may mayor has his office. Interesting building. All right, and that was the Shinzu City Hall. And the fire museum is right across the street over there. Shinzu Fire Museum is just a one big exhibition room where you have an old fire truck, fire truck and some old fire fighting equipment. If you're interested in that, it's cool. The museum is in a functioning fire station and you have bilingual bis displays that cover both the history of the local firefighting service and how best to solve a conflagration. Fire museum done. Let's grab another U-bike. Oh, cobblestone. Shiji Yuan. Shiji Fishball Restaurant. I'm now at the Shiji. Fish ball restaurant it's supposed to be good, so I ordered a bowl of fish balls, three big fish balls. And they have a filling of pork and something else, a bit vegetables, something crunchy in there. One bowl costs 40 NT dollars. And here we have Julian Temple, which is behind the Shinzu railway station somewhere. Very elaborate artwork, but like many temples in Taiwan, there's an ugly roof construction right before the beautiful temple. Returned my bike. Now I go to Shinzu station and take the train further down to a place called Cheating, which is not far from the coast. Shinzu station. Just arrived at tiny cheating station. Oh, it's windy here. It's windy. Very tiny station. Up there you can go on a, there's a platform from where you can see the, 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 the coast. And further down is um, old railway tunnels, two of them. Where you can uh, check out, I will check out. 
let's check them out. I love going to these small places, so I'm glad that I'm out of Shinsu city. Actually, this is already Miaoli County here. So here you can do a little bit of train spotting. The trains are, the train tracks are just down there. And over there you can see the Taiwan Strait, the sea and of course it's very windy at, along the west coast. You have uh, wind turbines here. Not sure if there's a train coming soon or not. Let's wait a minute or two. The train is coming, yeah. Local train. This train will actually stop here. So exciting. Tunnel this way. Oh, there's an O bike. Shall I take it? Let's try. Oh, yeah, it actually works. It's a bit rusty. I don't really like O bikes that much because the, the quality is not that good. But if you come to a place like this where there's no U-bike station and you have to walk a, a bit, then uh, I like the bikes. Da -da -da. Oh, there are, the tunnel. there are the tunnels already. Not very far, you can walk. Don't need uh, an O-bike. The tunnels are called Zimu Tunnel, which means son and mother tunnel, because one tunnel is a bit longer and one is a bit shorter. So that was the shorter tunnel, the sun tunnel. And the next one should be the, the mother. The mother tunnel. This one seems to be longer. So this used to be an old, the, the old railway line was here. So this is definitely the longer tunnel. Here's some information. During World War II, the Americans uh, t targeted this tunnel and up there you can see holes in the wall. Zumu Tunnel or Mu Tunnel. You know what, maybe I, I ride the bike all the way to the next station, Shangshan. It shouldn't be too far and the, the, the bikeway seems to go on, so... The old bikes are okay on flatland. Luckily this, uh, this path here is very flat. And I have no idea where the trail will end. Uphill, this bike is pretty hopeless. Oh, I have to push it. Would be better if the wind would come from behind. Shangsan is a new bike station. I will definitely, definitely switch my O bike for U bike there. Country road, country road. Actually, riding the O bike is quite okay if you don't have 
to carry a camera with a tripod in your hand, left hand, and have only one hand on the handle. That's the train I wanted to take originally. Made it to Shangsan Station. Oh yeah, there are U-bikes. Can't wait to get rid of this one and change to one of those. All right, here you can see the little Shangsan Station. Shangsan means literally fragrant mountain. There's no mountain here anywhere and I don't smell any fragrance. But the station is lovely. It's built in 1928. It's the only remaining Japanese era railway stop that was built by using Cyprus from the Alishan era area. Let's uh, switch to the next U-bike and go to the wetlands. So much better than the old bike. Here you can see a large Catholic church. So this is the Shangsan Tianhou Temple. The current building dates from the 1920s but there's been a shrine on this site since sometime in the late 17th century. You little wimp. Ow! All right, over there, if you walk across that bridge, you can have a look at the wetlands over across uh, over there. That's what I'm going to do now. In the distance, there's a boardwalk or a stone walk or a walk or whatever, which goes out into the um, wetlands. That's where I'm headed now. Final stop of my trip to Shinzu. Here's a crab view walk and it's closed. Oh, what a bummer. I made all the way, made it all the way here to have a look at the walk and it's closed. I'm a bit disappointed that I couldn't go on the, uh, the board walk there, but here is like uh, some stones. Maybe I go here. So here's uh, some kind of new construction going on. It's called uh, Bird Island. Time to go home. I will ride my bike to the next station, San Xing Chao, the three family name bridge, and then I will take the train back to Taipei. So my day today in Shinsu city and here on the coast, Miaoli and Shinzu was quite enjoyable, a bit tiring. The, the bicycle ride with the O-bike was really tiring. So I recommend the O-bikes, the U-bikes anytime over the O-bikes. 
that's that's all for today. See you next time. Bye bye.